Hi friends, we're going to read one room schools. And as we're reading, I want you to think about what would be the best thing about going to a one room school and why, and what would be the worst thing and why. Long ago, many people lived on farms or in small towns. The schools were small too. Some schools had only one room and one teacher. How did children get to school? They used many kinds of transportation. Some children walked, some children ro rode on horses. Most children did wear a lot of clothes on cold days. Big coats helped them stay warm on the way to school. Boots, gloves, and a scarf helped too. Now remember, in the old days, they didn't have buses or um, cars or any of that. So you bundled up and you walked or you rode on a horse or in a wagon. Children sat at desks. The teacher stood at the front of the room. Children raised their hands to talk to the teacher. Reading and math were two subjects. Children learned their lessons from books like these. So obviously we still learn from books like that. We still have math and reading. New children came to school on some days. Some of them came from other countries. Their culture and clothes were different. They spoke other languages. That still happens today. It's probably more common today. Children did math in school. They learned to add numbers. They did not do their work on paper. They wrote with chalk on a board. Now, obviously, we don't do that anymore. We have whiteboards. Children played outside for part of the day. They played games like tag. They jumped rope. Some schools had swings on the playground. Children liked to put on a special show. People from the community came to watch. The children sang songs and put on plays. What fun! Actually, we used to do that at Midvale. Um, Miss Spring, who retired, used to put on a play. And then when she retired, um, I don't think anyone took over, uh, so we don't have those. But when you get into high school, you can choose drama, and that is putting on plays. So here is your restate. The best thing about going to a one-room school is, and you'll fill in that blank, because, and you need to tell me why, and then your next sentence would be the worst thing would be, fill in that blank, and because, and tell me why. Think about being in a one-room school. Think about everyone from grade kindergarten through 12th grade in one room with one teacher. What would be good about that? And what might not be so good about that? All right.